as you saw on my last video. Okay, here's Leona, she's sleeping. <laughs> she wants to be very close right now because I think she's developing a lot. She already started smiling at three weeks and she uh, she fixated her eyes right like almost directly out of the womb. So my nurse said that she's... How can she fix it right? She's only 15 days. I was like, well, she has been for a long time now. So I don't know, she's developing very fast, I think. And she's really... She can't really rest. She's very anxious when she sleeps. I don't know, she's anxious. She has nightmares, I guess, or whatever. But she really... She can't really settle down. So she wants to be close all the time and she wants to eat all the time. So that is what we are doing. Being close and eating. Being close and eating all the time. So, but to continue. The last video you saw was me before I actually got into labor. And the last the last thing was that I actually went into labor for real. And this video is the continuum of that night when I actually did go and get into labor. And um, uh, we'll see how long video this will be if I need to put it in two parts because this is a very complicated not complicated but it's a very long birth story because things are happening and I hope I have enough information for you to understand what's happening otherwise let me know in the comment section but I'm gonna start editing now and hopefully you will understand everything uh, and be with me in my pain and misery uh, let's continue on with the video where we left, uh, left off the last time July 8th I had to go to my sister Sarah because they were working upstairs in the apartment and it was very crazy, crazy sounds and I couldn't be at home. So while I walked to my sister Sarah, I was there for a while, rested for a while, then I walked back and they were still doing that. So I walked back to her again and then I went home with Tobias when he stopped working. And that night I was so happy. I don't know, I had much energy, I had a lot of energy, I didn't feel pregnant really. I felt very upbeat, I felt like, as I told her, I said, should, we, should we do something tonight, like go play miniature golf or go to, I don't know, somewhere, just do something, because I have a lot of energy and I don't, I don't know why. And then I said, some people actually do feel energized the day before they give birth, so maybe it will start tomorrow. And it was like a joke, because I always, I, I felt so many signs and nothing has ever been correct. But I felt like I was walking a lot that day and I was still very I had much energy and stuff so we didn't but we watched some television and we just had a cozy time at home then we went to bed and then my guys July 9th I wake up I wake up I do took a screenshot it was 2 39 a.m. and I woke up to go to the bathroom nothing was wrong I just went to the bathroom and when I got up from the bed and I went to the bathroom I felt like gosh it feels like I have cramps I really feel like I have cramps and I feel it in my back I feel it in the front but is my body playing tricks with me as usual or is something actually happening I felt it a lot in my back back it was like constant it was constant it was pretty intense it wasn't like oh, I can't breathe I can't talk it was like just not comfortable and it hurt and it kind of released sometimes but not like it, I didn't feel like it's very hard and then it could, it stopped and then it came back and it stopped. It was just like constant and a little, little bit of release at some point. How will I ever know when things are real? How would I know if I actually start now? Because I woke up around 2.39 a.m. It's July 9th and I had so much crap.
is like it's not stopping when it's going down like the cramps in your my back is still continuing on continuing on for a very long time i mean these contractions that i, I only timed it to the first one was almost two minutes long because the cramps could weird thing is I was so uh, yesterday I was walking which I filmed on my phone and during night time like when I made dinner so I was so happy I was like I don't know why I'm such well, I'm in such a good mood I'm in such a good mood right now I don't know why and Tobias was like yeah you're very happy it was a long time since you've been this happy I'm like maybe it will start like I always say and I think it did this will probably also be See if I'll talk to you later or not. But here it comes again, and this time it was closer. So I was like, I don't know, I really don't know. Can this be anything? I don't know. So I went back to bed. And 3:02, I felt like I had started to contract, like I got more contractions, like hurting contraction pains. I felt like I got con contraction pains, and I felt like they had a had a top and they had a bottom. However, the bottom was very hard to feel because I already I have that constant constant cramps. I had constant cramps, so it was hard to feel when it released because it never really totally released, but I had really I had hard highs and lows still. So I felt when it hurt more and I felt that it kind of released, but it took such a long time to, for it to release because I had that constant pain. So I would say the pains were very long but not very intense just yet. It's 3.08 and this is contractions. This is contractions. I, if, uh, it's already hurting a lot and all the time, so I don't know how much I will vlog. I'll try to get to bias to vlog. If I don't vlog anymore until she's out, I'm sorry. I probably will. Uh, but I had a few very, oh, the last one was really, really painful. And I'll do my best to vlog and I think I'll vlog. I'm very excited. I'm excited that it hurts, but the last one was really painful. But maybe she comes today, July 9th, right? Yes, July 9th. I hope you'll be born today or tonight, so I don't have like 48 hours of labor. But here it comes. Here it comes. Timer, time, please. This one is doable. So there are And 319, I finally, I say finally because I longed for the pain, but then when I felt them, I felt like, okay, <laughs> this is not fun. I finally felt a real contraction pain because I felt it was intense and I felt it in my tummy and I felt it how it released. So I felt it coming hard and I felt it go away. Three twenty six. I am. I forced myself to drink a glass of milk and eat a banana because I thought that this is starting now so I really need to get some sort of food in between these contractions before they get even closer and more painful. So I ate it and I drank the milk and it was hard. I didn't like it at all but I had to because I feel like it's actually starting and I was so excited. 3.38 a.m. I called the delivery room, the hospital, to ask what to do because I had very close contractions. They were about two to three minutes apart, uh, all of them. It wasn't exactly two, it wasn't exactly three, but it was some sort and it started to get more and more painful all the time. So it's it really escalated fast. So they told us to come in. I talked to my mother who said, go in. And I talked to the del delivery room that said, come in. So we're just gonna pack our things. I'm gonna go, cause it's, it's getting 
they're getting tougher and tougher to breathe through and the time is only 3.43 so it's like a bit, it's been an hour and I already have so much more pain than I had before so I'm gonna listen to them, we're gonna pack and we're gonna go and we'll see how much I see and uh, I walked to buy us up and he was like, uh, what am I gonna do about work? Am I going to go there today? I'm like, no, no, this is not, this is not a, a, a false alarm. This is actually labor. This hurts so freaking bad. So if this is not labor, I will die. I will die when labor starts. So just pack your things and in between I'll, I'll sit in like this and then I packed and then I'm sitting like this. So. It was crazy. So we packed. And we went in. The car ride there was not fun at all. Every time we turned or something or it was a bump in the road it hurt like hell. I, I, I was very shocked that the turns were so painful but probably because when the car turns and you are leaning your tummy is like contracting in different ways but it was super duper painful. 4 19 a.m. we're going to the hospital. They're probably gonna send us home. They do that from time to time, but at least they're gonna check and we'll see if they continue on being as strong as they've been or if they're gonna get playing out and then get stronger again. You never know. It's just to be us. Thumbs up. I could have been a got there and because it was in the middle of the night we had to go to the emergency um, uh, place to go in so we had to go to the emergency so we got in and I had contractions and, and we walked in and they told us um, you have to go through this it's a pretty long way do you want a wheelchair and I was first gonna be brave and say no that's okay but I felt like yes because I couldn't stand up when the contractions started so uh, I sat down in a wheelchair and I started moving and I'm so happy we had the wheelchair because it was like, I don't know, it felt like a kilometer or something. I mean, very, very far to go in, in the, the lower basement of the hospital. It was scary and it was far and I was so happy that I had a wheelchair because I was almost dying in the wheelchair every contraction that I got. We are here at the emergency room. Let's do this. I'm in a wheelchair for the first time in my life. This is a scary place. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. So I had a lot of contractions, but when we came there, they made put the curse on here. Her heartbeats were good. I had pretty close contractions, but they weren't really exactly how strong they want them to be. And not strong, but as often as they wanted to be. If there were three, three or four per ten minutes, minutes every time, but it wasn't enough because you have to fill three criteria here in Sweden to get into the hospital when you are giving birth. You need to either your water must have been broken, you must be open, dilated three to four centimeters, or your contractions must be three, three, three contractions per ten minutes. And I had three contractions for 10 minutes, but I didn't have any of the other two. Other two, Because when she felt how open I was, or how, di how dilated I was, it hurt so, 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 so much. And it saddened me that I hadn't opened anything, um, and the cervix wasn't really gone yet. And that's not weird, actually, because I didn't have contractions for too long before we were in there. It was like four hours, maybe, so that's nothing. It's just the, the beginning of the contractions, but they wanted us to check because I had so many so fast. So we checked and uh, nothing had really happened, so they told us either, either you can go home again or you can go to the patient hotel and rest there for a while. Here we have our curves. We got 136 is the heartbeat. The gray thing in the low pit, that one is the contractions. And we just got sandwiches. And now I get it. Now I get a contraction, which you can see on the number. Oh my god, then how you don't helvete. And we decided to go to the patient hotel and rest. And but because I hadn't sleep slept anything, the doctors wanted me to take a sleep dosage 
whatever you call it, like a sleep. You get three pills to sleep and to release, so you get to rest in case of giving birth. So what we got, I got what like one one pill of morphine, one pill of sleep, like falling asleep pill and two aspirin. I know it's not aspirin, but you know what I mean, like painkillers. And uh, I was really reluctant to take them because I don't like putting morphine in my body when I had a baby in there, but they told me she will be okay, there won't be anything dangerous for her, but uh, you will get to sleep and you will have a better delivery. And I was very reluctant because I didn't know what it would do to me. And I was like, if I don't fall asleep, how will I feel afterwards with the both sleeping pills and that in my body because it's daytime and I don't think I'm gonna sleep because I had so much pain. But I took them either way. <laughs> uh, problem. We don't know where to go. Nothing happened while well, I have contractions and labor pain. However, I was not open anything yet. So, yeah fun times we're gonna take into the health hospital hotel and hope for the best because i have really painful contractions so we don't want to go home i got some pills to eat so that i can rest a bit and we'll see what happens so this is our room Okay, this is the toilet. Really beautiful. Here we have Tobias in the mirror. Nice, beautiful bed. Great view. I'm gonna take some pills and hopefully get some sleep. 7.21 a.m. I feel weird. I can't really feel my body. I was bleeding a little bit when I was at the bathroom, which is good. I'm still scared that everything is gonna stop and not come back. I don't know if it stopped. The contractions i don't want the labor to stop that was my biggest worry with taking these pills i got very sleepy i got very relaxed and the contractions stopped didn't make me feel good at all i felt like my legs got numb i got disgusting taste in my mouth i i was very dry in my mouth i was falling asleep on and off but not really falling asleep just waking up falling asleep and i was so freakishly tired 11.13 a.m. We're gonna go to some stores to see if something happens. We, I have my uh, contractions are further apart since I took the pills and uh, we're gonna see if they start up again or what happens or whatever. <laughs> we'll see. That was the worst car ride of my life I think. I just wanted to throw up probably from the pills. And I just want to cry. I had a mild anxiety attack because I don't want to go home and not and without her coming. And I feel very bad and I want to vomit and everything. I talked to my mother and as I talked to her I finally got some more contractions that hurt. And I didn't like them when they came. came. I wanted them and then they came and I didn't like them. And that is how it's gonna be. I want them to come though because I want her to come and I can't stand to have this much pain so many days. I ate an ice cream, uh, an icicle. That is where we are right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to sleep a little bit or something. I'm bleeding a little too, which is good. Nothing is happening. I've been sleeping for two hours and now the labor pain is all like one every half an hour so they're very 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 far apart so i really don't know it will probably not come today then hopefully tomorrow because i i don't want to do this all over a lot of days you never know but i'm gonna eat some chips and i'm gonna watch something to get the time to move faster me and tobias went for a walk and we were playing in the playground and i thought that maybe if i walk, walk the stairs up and down a few times maybe Maybe the things will start rolling and we did everything we could to, to make time go faster and to maybe start the delivery or whatever. I'm gonna go for a walk, hopefully more contractions will start soon, but it's very warm. Gosh, I'm tired of this, she needs to come! Jesus, it's warm. Let's bicycle her out. It's so fast. Careful. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> det var alltså det sprängt. Nej, nej. Jag får panik. Jag är ner. Wee! Det är nice att börja göra någonting. Wee! Sätt ner mig försiktigt, säger jag. Nej. Let me go! Wee! Wow! Trying to hide from me. Couldn't. And we played some pool. And then we ate some dinner. I'm sitting down to eat a little bit to get some food. My headache is starting to get worse and I'm very tired and I feel nausea. But we played some pool and now we're gonna eat and go up to the rooms. Mm -mm -mm. Lingonberry. I couldn't eat almost anything because I felt really bad. I wanted to vomit and then I wanted to faint. So I had to lay down on the floor underneath the table in the restaurant up with my legs on Tobias. And it was, it was not, it was not very fun. I wouldn't say it was fun. So I got nausea, I got extreme, extreme headache. So I had to put a wet towel around my head as usual and like try to get rid of that headache. I don't know if it was the, the, the everything with the pain or everything or if it was like because of the morphine and stuff. And I got some cramps and I got some contractions again. It was on and off through the entire day. When I was standing up, I felt contractions, but as, as soon as I was lay down, uh, as soon as I lay down, I didn't feel any contractions anymore. So I was like, what is happening? And Leona was was crazy in the tummy. She was like kicking and pushing. And I was like, yeah, push yourself out, but push yourself downwards, not out of the tummy. She was like, mm, I don't want to be in here anymore. I'm like, I don't want you to be in either. Come out, okay? So at nighttime, I was like, I was crying and I was so sick and tired of the, Contractions not going anywhere. They were like sometimes they were there, sometimes they were not. Sometimes it was an hour between two contractions. Sometimes it was half an hour, ten minutes. It was like I don't know what is happening. So I was calling the to the hospital again and said, please, can you just check if something has happened? Have, am I dilated anything? Is anything happening to the cervix? And she was like, we can see. Uh, we can go check the curves if you want to. I'm like. You don't need to check the curves because I don't have a lot of contractions now. I know I don't have a lot of a lot of them. All I want to know is am I open anything? If we are, we will stay at the hotel tonight. Otherwise, we will go home because it's useless. He's lying here. We, we don't know how many days we need to be here. And she was like, I don't think you're. Uh, I don't think you're. You're on your way to give birth. I was like, okay. Can you check? She was like, if it made you make you feel safe, we will check. And I said, yes, it will. So we went to the room. We are here again, and we will probably go home later. Because it's slowing down, and it can take days. It was a midwife there, and she, she took the curves, and there, were, there weren't any contractions really. Very few, very short ones. And then I said, are you going to check? And she said, no, we don't want to tease the cervix. I was like, what? And she was like, no. So I was like, okay, then we're going home. Then we're going home. We're not staying here if you can't check. And I was so mad. I was so sad. After this, I was crying my eyes out. I was like, why don't they want to tease the cervix? We want the baby to come. And I have started the delivery. I knew I had started because I knew how, pain, how much pain I had, have had. And she was like, well, it, we haven't had any contractions through the day. And I'm like, I have, but they have been very, very far apart. I just want to know if anything at all has happened. So I was crying and I said, Tobias, I, I feel, I feel, I feel useless. I feel like I can't do anything right. I feel like it's my fault and it can't be my fault that my body won't, don't want to give me contractions. And I was like, don't put yourself down. You can't do anything about this. It's the way it is. We have to wait and see what happens. How do you want to? Do you want to go home? Do you want to stay? I'm like, we're going home. We're going home. I don't want to be here anymore. They don't believe I'm giving birth and I'm not giving birth. And we sat in the car. So it was like 9.30 p.m. when we were going home. So we sat in the car and I was crying. And as soon as we started rolling, 
I got a contraction. And on my way home, I had a contraction every 10 minutes and they were painful. But I was like, I'm not gonna turn around. I'm not giving birth, they told me. I'm crying so much. I had so much anxiety because it was about to start and it stopped. I don't know if it was the pills, I don't think so. I don't know if things have happened, but I think they have because I had a lot of pain and I feel like she's pressing downwards a lot. But obviously they refused to check. So I was like, you know what, we're going home. I don't want to be here anymore. I feel like a failure. I was crying so hard because I feel like a failure. I'm not a failure. I can't decide what my body's going to do. But it feels very hard for me. It feels very crappy that I may have to live with this pain and these contractions and these labor pains for days because the first phase in the pregnancy before you open like three or four centimeters can be a very very long process it can be like such a super long process it kills me if i have to have this pain tomorrow or maybe the next day and now it's so when you have asperger's and you don't know things for sure and you don't know when you have to go in and now I'm afraid that I'm going to be home for too long because I don't want to make a fool out of myself, which I feel like I do when I go in, which I don't, but I feel like it. So it has been a lot of anxiety. I'm very, very tired. I uh, actually going to sleep in the guest room tonight because Tobias slept a lot today when I was trying to sleep. So he's going to be up for a while. So I'm going to go to bed in the guest room so maybe I can get some sleep without getting like just um, disturbed when he comes into the room to go to bed like i want i want the pains tomorrow but at the same time i'm afraid of them because they hurt so bad and i feel like it would be nice with one day without pain but i know if i wouldn't have a pain tomorrow i would cry because of that because i want the owner to come so this is a really long video already and you haven't seen the baby yet this is how long a journey can be for a woman Waiting to give birth. And we have like one hour to... Here comes Tobias. We have like one hour to the hospital. He bought some pay toilet paper. And uh, then we went home. 10.37 at night right now. And just because we went home I have contraction pains. Labor pains every 10 minutes. And this is all we get in this part, because the uh, next part is probably also very long. And that is the actual delivery part, and it's connected to this one. I could just as easily start, continue to talk, because my journey continued through the next night and the next day she's born. But I'm going to talk about that more in the next video, because this is already too long. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it. However, a lot of things are happening in the next video, so I really hope you will watch that too. And I hope you have watched this entire video. Let me know. Let me know your favorite part about the video. But uh, yeah, don't miss when Leona is awakened. Is it awakened? No, I play. No, I play. Come in and say hey. Here's the father. Here's the father. Hey. Hey. But next time Leona Luisa is coming out to the world and I'm a happy mom. I had a lot of complications since I got home and I don't know if you ever want me to talk about them. Let me know if you want me to talk about the complication in some other video. It may happen that I already mentioned them in some footage that I do have. Uh, the videos from here on out can be a little bit weird until I come into my own with Leona and everything. Because after that I'm going to start making like week weekly vlogs where we are vlogging our life and stuff. But right now it's like so much. So it will be a lot of footage and some Swedish footage and some music footage and stuff. I'm gonna be quiet. Stay tuned to the next video and you'll see my little daughter coming into this world and making me a mother and spice a father. And we're such a lovely family. But it's not easy to raise a family. And it's not easy to become a family when you haven't been one. But more about that some other time. I love you all very much. I hope you're happy for me. I'm happy that I'm finally a mother. My tummy hurts. I have a very bad back right now. So sitting like this is really not good for me. But I'm gonna be quiet. Thank you for being with me. I love you all very much. I'll see you when I see you keeping you. Remember to subscribe, like and comment. I need you all guys. Because I have a family to support now. 
Bye.